Travis Wingood cell. Uh, it's getting too hot. I crashed early and because it maintained hotness, I woke up early. So I was taking care of some things that I had made notes of before I went to bed or as I was going to bed. And uh, one of them was finding Johnny Mathis's song Friends in Love with Diane Warwick. <laughs> I had this song on my mind that I couldn't remember his name. And so I wrote down what I thought was the title. Also waking up, there was a major uh, long distance run with the siren, which prevented me from staying asleep. I have a, a dream alert that I need to share with you guys. Don't let me forget. <laughs> <coughs> this video, however, involves my research about the airport director for Salt Lake City, who got arrested for child porn. As I, I recognized that something's fishy about that, and sure enough, I, on the 7th of May, 2020, ABC4 News Utah I had a YouTube news clip uh, uploaded on their channel. COVID-19's impact on the travel industry. Airport directors are involved with this, aren't they? 519 billion dollar loss on the 7th of May due to coronavirus. That's huge. That's a huge bailout which is why Trump isn't able to bail out the travel industry. And so they were going over airline restrictions as part of, of the coverage in this clip, along with cruise ships. As the CDC said, please don't go on cruise ships uh, and other travel to the national parks, etc. And so what did we have this past week? Gary Herbert opens up national parks. He downgrades us to yellow. See where we're going with this? He wants the travel industry back up and running. It is the job of the airport director to ensure the safety and security of those who work at the airport and those who utilize the airport. He believes that the coronavirus is still a threat. It is his job to ensure the safety and protection of all involved. But along comes Governor Herbert, saying, we're opening up, we're going back to work, we're getting the travel industry up and running. See where we're going with this? Governor Herbert is in the wrong case you didn't know. The CDC uh, released just after, just after, on the same day that Governor Herbert decides to have a press conference early at 11 o'clock instead of 1.30, when he downgrades to yellow, the CDC then finally is able to get released the opening instructions for states that Trump had been holding back. And Utah has been confirmed as not measuring up. Even ABC4 News Utah had an article posted on YouTube talking about how Utah does not measure up, that we shouldn't be opening, we don't qualify. Yet Herbert did it anyway, claiming that the stats showed we can open up. And that was
was his claim. He lied. And then all of a sudden, on Friday, news dump day, well, it was actually Thursday, and so Friday morning, so not quite news dump day, they arrest the guy in charge of the airport, the airport director. I found online for uh, uh, Luxembourg, wasn't it? Lynchburg. The Lynchburg Regional Airport was putting an online post for uh, uh, an airport director, which the salary is $83,470.40 to $139,131.20 annually. So these guys get paid a ton of money. But it lists essential duties and responsibilities, including the following. And then uh, here's, uh, let's see, that was airport security. Where was the safety part? It's like a whole ton of things that they have to do. Uh, market research. Media spokesperson. Uh, plans and manages. Yeah, directs public safety activities. Velvet. Rules and regulations and minimal operation standards. Um, manages federal and state fundings. Coordinates grant applications, oversees administration of federal grants. Uh, was it in the title? Yeah, maintenance, safety, and security in accordance with federal, state, and local policies. And this is where the conflict, I think, would have come in for him, uh, Randall Berg, when he got arrested is because he plans, directs, and manages all administrative and operational functions of the airport, including finance, maintenance, safety, and security in accordance with established federal, state, and local policies and regulations. And so when you have a governor who's going contrary to the CDC federal guidelines, and he's stuck in the middle. Who do I follow? The federal government or the state government when you're in a state? And it's Governor Herbert of all people. How do you bring them down? How do you remove them from the position and put in a puppet to do the bidding of the state governor? Well, there's this thing called computer hacking, isn't there? I've told you about my computer hacking experience. <laughs> I'll tell you again in case you missed it. <laughs> uh, not too long ago, I'm sitting at my computer working on some stuff, and I have both I have uh, two file folders opened up uh, in the general realm uh, so that I can click back and forth between files. And then I, I notice on the one file when uh, a screen is minimized or replay or uh, taken down, I notice on the left hand uh, file screen thing, uh, a file folder that I did not recognize. I was going, what is this? And so I click on it, and it's got other files. It's it's like a, a rabbit hole of, of files. And so I keep clicking, trying to find what's on these files. 
and eventually I get to one of them. I don't think I saw what was on it. It was I saw uh, a list of file, a smaller file down below, and they were disappearing before my eyes. I'm going, why is it disappearing? What's going on? And so I try to click on one that's still up on the screen, and I go to click on it, and I can't because it disappeared. Somebody is deleting files in an unknown file on my computer. A rabbit hole of, fi of files. And I keep trying to to get ahead of this per this deletion, and uh, I can't do it. And so I realize, okay, something's going on here, and I'm out of control. Uh, and I can't get a hold of this. I immediately shut down my computer and uh, turn it back on a little later, and I uh, go to search through these files. And sure enough, that cutting off of the internet connection uh, allowed me to go in and see these files. Gay porn. I mean, at least they could have had the respect of putting little red-headed girls on there. <laughs> if you've seen my other videos, you know that as a child I love uh, Snoopy and Charlie Brown, little red-headed girl. And so, uh, uh, that has always been uh, my, uh, my preference, or type, I guess as they called it here in Utah. Because when I moved to Utah and was forced to be single again, uh, people were talking about, who's your type? Oh, you're not my type, Travis. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What do you mean? Am I not a guy? Are you not a female? You mean type? But, uh, yeah. Uh, and so, uh, even though I have little red-headed girl uh, preferences, that doesn't mean I pass up other women. Do you know how rare a red-headed girl is? But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, uh, somebody had uh, purposely placed gay porn on my computer. And obviously I deleted the whole messer splits of files, but uh, I knew that my internet service, my security service, or whatever you call it, uh, was not doing the job protecting me. And I uh, uh, got fed up and got a whole new uh, internet security system as a result of, of this failure of my security system to protect me. And I thought that these guys were going to do better. <laughs> they certainly advertised it on TV. But uh, not too much better, as I still see. I had the experience the other day, or the other week, that I told you about, where I couldn't control the mouse. And I thought, okay, is it a battery problem? And uh, I switched the battery. Nope, still not working. And sure enough, yeah, somebody was accessing files and apps on my computer, and that's when I realized, okay, nope, uh-uh, had to shut down my computer again. So even with a new system, I, the hackers of today, they bypass every security system. We are not safe. And so uh, it's well known as even movies talk about it, you want to destroy somebody who's in a high position, you download uh, child porn on their computer and get them busted. To remove them from the position, get them out of the way, so that you can put your crony or whoever will be compliant to uh, the overall evil empire 
which is what they had in the movies. And, and sure enough, uh, Randall Byrd, on the 15th of May, was arrested. 50,000 child porn images. I easily had 50,000 gay porn images. <laughs> I didn't do accounts, and I had no way of knowing how many were deleted before I finally shut down my computer to stop them. Uh, but interestingly, he has 25,000 counts. They just keep coming inside. Something's big going on. Uh, but 25 count, 25,000 counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Weren't there 50,000? <laughs> Were they cutting him a deal? <laughs> if he pleads guilty? You know, are they saying, hey, we're going to charge you with 25,000. If you don't plead guilty, we're going to add the other 25,000? Or were there only... Uh, 25,000 kids with two pictures each? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, if you want to also know, ABC4 News Utah has reported that Utah police and uh, child porn investigators use the tactic of uploading child porn on the internet to catch people for looking. I'm assuming downloading too, I don't know, I didn't catch that, but but they reported that they had run a sting on the computer, not just pretending, hey big boy, oh, I'm so young, wouldn't you like to come have sex with me up here in Utah? Come on and see me big boy, you know, those kinds of traps. Uh, no, this this was also picture image traps that Utah police were doing. What are they doing exploiting minors with child porn claiming, oh, we're trying to catch people? There was that bishop and, and police officer down south Utah who got busted for this sexting operation process that they ran. And his excuse was, oh, I'm trying to help these women. <laughs> and so, I, no, guys, this is the way they think when they, you know, the guy got caught, he exposed the whole operation of what they're doing with child porn. They think they're helping save lives by uh, exploiting children online, which is just psycho, evil psycho. And I've done the discussion that porn doesn't exist as a concept, as a word. It just doesn't exist. There's no such thing. It was created by evangelicals in the early 1900s after they lost in the Supreme Court to have creationism taught in schools. And so they went on a whole idolatry kick, naming a whole bunch of things as idols to fear. And pornography was one of them. You need to understand, pornography is two Greek words put together. The Greeks never put the two words together. They were always separated. And both of them, as I've gone over in that video, are harmless. Graphy comes from graph, you know, which the art. And then uh, porn comes from point A, uh, which uh, is understood as prostitute. But again, you can't impose our current understanding and definitions on the ancients. For a prostitute, <laughs> again, simply means pra, pro, before. Statute, statue. It's where we get statutes from. Carving in stone, laws in stone. 
this old statue, a carving in stone. Before a carving in stone. And that's why uh, our definition of prostitute came from that was because uh, women who had no husband to take care of them and needed money in order to survive in their economy sold their bodies for sex so that they could survive. It was not understood as an evil. It was what needed to be done in order for them to live. Because again, they didn't have a civil rights movement for women. You can't impose our cultural norms and values on the ancients. And so the whole concept was created by evangelicals. And of course the Mormon church then love this idea of idol worship from evangelicals. We want to be Christian now. And so the church has been speaking out against pornography. But then what is, what qualifies, what constitutes pornography? Well, it's gone to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court had set three categories to determine whether something is considered pornography in the sense of criminal action. And the third one is what all religious people ignore. <laughs> they focus on the first two and go, yeah, yeah, burn the witch. <laughs> and they just completely ignore the third one, which shuts the whole thing down. And that's in regards to, is it artistic? It's got art in its name. Pornography automatically disqualifies any illegal activity involved with it. And religious groups ignore it. <laughs> and the other uh, categories are scientific, educational, obvious. But artistic is in that listing. And artistic, as I was told by uh, 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 my Mr. Swigheimer in my art class in high school, art imitates life. If it's a representation of life, it is art. Doesn't matter what medium you use to imitate life, if it imitates life, it's art. Idols. Art. Imitates life. And so, people say, well, no, this is not the life we want. Doesn't matter what you want. If it imitates life, it's art. And that's what people just don't get there's no such thing as child porn. Because children are life. If you imitate children, that's life, that's art. And the Supreme Court has said that's not child porn. Whether they realized it or not, they put in art. And because art is an opinion, whether it's good or bad, it's an opinion. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean that it's not art. And so I went over explaining that the real crime is children being held captive in order to have those pictures taken, whether they knew that they were being taken or not. You know, the... Uh, the suspected wife killer who then blew up himself with his boys uh, out up in Oregon or Washington and then the father uh, was found to have uh, had taken pictures of kids uh, in his bathroom 
as they were dressing for the pool. He would invite kids to come play in his pool and had a camera set up in the bathroom to see them undress. Uh, he was arrested for that. That's legitimate because he exploited children uh, for uh, sexual purposes. Uh, holding them hostage even though they didn't realize they were being held hostage. They didn't have consent to have their pictures taken in stages of undress. And, uh, I, and obviously you can't get permission from minors, from children, from those who are not adults. You have to get parental permission. And in such cases, it can be gotten away with if you get parental per permission unless sexual activity occurs with the parental permission without a marriage license which in some states you can have children married if parental permission is granted and so yeah things get complicated but there are rules set in place to protect children and this is what the actual crime is. So if the police are going to go after somebody for possession of pictures, which is art, which they themselves put up as the trap, who's at fault? Exactly, the police are at fault. They're the ones who are exploiting teenager or kids um, to entrap other people whereas if they didn't put them on the guy's computer if they didn't put them online then these other people who get caught would never have gotten caught in the first place but because it was made available to them so the police need to back off but in this particular case with Randall Berg concerns me because he's an airport director during a time where the airport director is caught in the middle of a scandal where the governor wants to murder Utahns and so like I told you Keep an eye on this case because the news says he was caught with images which means they were on his computer how did they find out it was on his computer which computer was it his work computer or his home computer how did they find out about it did somebody else see his computer or did they know because they planted it there and had it tracked as a part of a sting operation? And I told you, it is not beneath Utah government and police to pull these kinds of traps for people that they want taken down. Like I said, somebody put gay porn in on my computer. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see any children, so I don't don't see anything illegal. I think it was just a joke thing, which is why when they saw that I was trying to check them out in real time while they were online, uh, they then realized, uh oh, better start deleting. I don't know, but but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. Probability. And so, uh, yeah, this guy is now removed from the job, which means another uh, air, uh, airline director is needed for Salt Lake City. And sure enough, travel operations are resuming again 
as pictures are coming out all over the various news sources of a packed airport, a packed plane to comply with Herbert. And that's the key in recognizing is there some problem involved in this case. Now that they've removed him, it's likely that if he refuses to plead guilty, I mean, his life is over. His reputation is gone. His job is gone. If he has a family, who are they going to believe now? Oh, why would the government lie, dear? And I'm, if he's Mormon, Oh, you're a sinner. You violated the family proclamation. You've betrayed us. How could you do this to us? I didn't do it, dear. They caught you. Why would they lie? I was set up. You're just saying this to get out of it. You need to take responsibility for your own actions. I already know all of this. All I did was decipher Paleo Hebrew <laughs> and utterly destroy the church. <laughs> Much to my ignorance and naivety. So, uh, yeah, this is disturbing on many realms. And uh, that's not cool take down a person just because they don't want to put lives at risk and murder people for the government, for Governor Herbert. You know, that's what I'm saying with my lawsuit against the church. They purposely fired Judge First when she allowed Gaddy versus COP. And then after they fired her, they assigned her my case. And she was ordered to dismiss it. And so on November 1st, she held a hearing to dismiss my case. But I dropped the bombshell. The church is paying the person who had me disappeared in 2008. I got the evidence. Okay, file an amended complaint. I filed the amended complaint. And she went silent until she, her last day. And uh, even though the church lawyers, they filed their motion to dismiss 11 days late, they forgot to serve me, and then officially became 24 days late. They lost by default. And so they, the federal judges hire somebody brand new because they were successful in extending this, prolonging this out. Because they they have no case against me. They can't shut me down. Because the church is guilty. <laughs> I caught them paying this person who had me disappeared, for example. It's all on them. They've got all the evidence. So it's, it's not me that has to manufacture the evidence and plant it on their computer devices <laughs> they've already done it to me and uh, and so yeah they hired a person who's been a federal defender she's been a clerk who knows the rules of clerks that people have to file on time otherwise the clerk has to put an entry of default on the docket, which the clerks have not done, but I informed the new judge that the clerks failed to do this, knowing she has been a former clerk. <laughs> and so, uh, she knows, or should know, that she's in a pickle. because she got hired specifically to shut down my case 
but she knows because of her experience that the church is toast she has no choice but to order judgment for me but if she does she's gonna lose her job just like this airport director they're gonna say oh, I'm sorry it's just not working out for you of course it may be too late by then because I'll have taken everything from the church the church will be utterly destroyed so the church won't have power to control people anymore and so they may resort to murder specifically of me <laughs> they've already sent me death threats on Friday the 13th in March right before my birthday they sent a death threat but I was saved because I was inspired to record the incident which later became the death threat so I had documented video evidence of my innocence when they did attack and they didn't care <laughs> but they didn't go through with it because I had that evidence and that I reached out to another government agency who stepped in but nonetheless the attempt was made the message was clear back off your lawsuit or we're taking you down and they hired her that Monday after that incident as I did the video on that those rat bastards <laughs> so yeah, unbelievable so this is the depths that they will sink to get control of what they want done not just with my case to protect the church's criminal organization but for the airline industry as well to get it back up and running when it's not supposed to be because it puts lives in danger fun in Utah and I, like I said I had a dream alert that I need to talk to you guys about the dream alert will go over uh, the uh, exodus dream that I had yeah another exodus dream wouldn't that be nice? But that would require the judge uh, to either uh, uh, give the orders to that I win, and so I'll contact the collections agency that's been put on hold all this time, uh, and uh, or the other option is that physical destruction shuts down the government, shuts down the church. So that we have no leadership we're just in complete on our own uh, that's the other scenario that could take place with the need for an exodus so uh, hold on to your hats because there's a sign coming friday it's very disturbing uh, but this is at the end of the video where youtube tells me none of you are watching <laughs> So, I'm dropping another bombshell for you at the end of a video. And it's just sad because you guys aren't coming to my videos anymore. I uh, did do uh, uh, some shocking videos. And the one seems to be taking off as Mormons are like, You, you tricked me. I thought that this was something else and it wasn't. And you, this is, I can't trust you. Well, you clicked on it. You saw what it was about, and yet you clicked on it. <laughs> so you're unhappy that it didn't come true? <laughs> dum 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 dum. So. <sighs> I'm the only one trying to save your lives, and you're upset with me and want me dead. That's the weirdest thing in all the world. 
And as you read the Book of Mormon about Abinadi and others who are trying to save lives with their warnings, the people just say, kill the witch! We want our lifestyles and criminal activity to continue. It's just wrong. Wrong. But the country song, isn't it? Who's the country song that sings that singer? I should have that in my files, too. Wrong. Waylon Jennings. <laughs> Depeche Mode has a wrong song. Done me wrong song. Is that another song? I don't think it's wrong. Oh well, I'm rambling now, so I'm ending. <laughs>